What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So if it looks a little different, it's because we're filming on our new phones. We finally upgraded to the 22nd or 21st century. I don't even know what we got. So <laughs> you just kept saying you wanted this phone, you wanted the phone, and I yeah. got the phone. Yeah, well we wanted another phone, but it's out of order. So if you see my eyes looking over here and not over here, because the camera is over here, but I'm looking at the screen. Totally different from a GoPro because I can actually see ourselves now. So, that's not the topic of the video. Focus. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, All right, so we're going to stay on topic, and we're focusing <laughs> on Renee now. We, no, we not think. on me, but on yes. project. All right, so tell us what we got today, babe. Um, we got a real simple project. Our lovely RV has got these mesh um, thingies, but the problem with it is there's no backing behind it. So when you open up the bay outside, I can see daylight, and the heat was coming in. Obviously, in the winter, the heat will go out through here. So the first thing that I'm doing is I've already cut them. Um, but they're those reflective, like, um, yep. that's what we use in the windows. Yeah. Insulator things. Reflectix. So I cut them to size, so they're going to fit in there. And we've had these in the stairs actually already for like a month and it's made a huge difference. Oh yeah. You used to walk up and you could just feel the heat coming out. So now that's kind of like my insulator. And then I just got in today. Yay. Some lovely tiles, the peel and stick. So we're going to cut them and hide our lovely silver decor. <laughs> the, and we got those on Amazon? Yeah, Amazon, they were, um, we'll see how they hold up. So I'm going to say the word, they were uh, pretty reasonable. They were like 10 or 11 bucks for a case of 10 or 12. Okay. So I thought that was very yeah. affordable DIY small project to do. So yeah, and it matches the, we said earlier, yeah. it matches the subway tile and it kind of... tons and tons of choices on Amazon. Like I had like 12 different things that I liked and then I came out in the kitchen with my laptop and kind of held up each with my laptop looking at how the tiles would look on the steps and this was the winner. Yeah, and I didn't know until we got the order today and I was like, oh, those actually he thought, match. He thought it was his package and he opened it up and he's like, what is this? I said, I know what that is. <laughs> cool. All right, so step one, pull out the universal tool in every household, the knife. Hey, it works. I got my little hammer, Yeah. but it didn't have enough leverage. Yep, so we're just gonna pull off the trim here and it's just gonna make it just a little easier. There's just a couple staples that we need to force out of there. So, well, it looks nice and clean anyways. There's a little staple there. Yeah. If I need to get out. But we'll just pull the staples off. All right, now that we got all the siding off and all the staples out, I'm just gonna take some lovely camera champ cleaner and just kind of get the debris so none of the debris gets in when we peel the tiles of the sticky. Yeah, you definitely wanna have a clean surface. It wasn't too bad. Just a couple staples holding each one. Except for the bottom one over there, man. Someone went crazy with the caulking gun and the glue. They really glued that sucker down. They did not want that last one to come off. Normally, if we were in a house, whoa. If we were in a house, I would say, yeah, just measure from bottom to the top of this, um, this seal here. But nothing is square in an RV. So I'm just gonna take a pre-measurement here and see this is a seven and a half. And then over here, holy cow, it's actually seven and a half all the way across. So I can do seven and a half up. Well, I gotta make sure I get the design right. So what I could do is measure seven and a half from the bottom up and then cut a line across. But just to be safe, I'm gonna make sure that the pattern is this way. I want these little diamonds. I don't think you can do the wrong pattern. So what I'm gonna do is put this here, press it up against the wall, okay? And then I'm just gonna make a little mark here. He's marking on the tile, it's hard to see. Yeah, sorry, I'm marking on the, on the paper here. So, and then I'm just gonna do another double check from the bottom up. I'm sorry, seven and a quarter, not seven and a half, seven and a quarter. I've got tiny little measurements on here with my glasses. So seven and a quarter all the way. So all I'm gonna do now, since I have a mark, I'm gonna take my square, and then I'm gonna draw a line across the way. All right, so I drew my line across, and then what I'm gonna do is I just got a cutting board uh, down here, just to, so we don't cut, cut into the hard surface. And then we have a yardstick. I have it measured up against the line. 
And then just a razor, guys, or a um, box cutter. I'm not pressing really hard. I'm just making a couple of cuts. Because if I'm not mistaken, hopefully this will be like drywall. There you go. Nice and easy. Let's dig it. Yeah, that's super sticky. A dog. All right. Oh wait, what did we say? This way? Sure. Sure. So one thing you gotta think about is when you cut, it's gotta line up. But if you do it the same way, it should work almost all of the time if you notice. All right, so I'm just gonna go here up against the top. And bam. Instead of measuring every single time, I have this little cutoff piece. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of back it up here Make sure it's up. I'm going to draw my line across there, and then now I know exactly where to cut. I don't have to remeasure. Well, for that one, I don't know if I would do that with everyone. No, that's just the top where you're going to have a consistent thing. The bottom's other two steps are a little shorter. I'm going to have to read it. Is it is an RV. It may not be consistent. Yeah, it may not be. Well, we know the first two steps area where the um, where the mesh is and the reflectix is a lot smaller. But since we're doing another one in the same exact spot, and it is seven and a quarter inches, I'm just going to use this as a like what you said, a template. Mm -hmm. So just to keep it quick. Let me tell you, you can take the measurements from here to the next one, and this barely lines up. And then to the next one, it barely lines up. It's hard to show in the camera, but you can see there. But when you're standing back, it doesn't even matter. Look at that. But it looks good. It looks really good. Let's go to the next one. Something that I'm learning very quick. I've already made a wrong cut because I measured backwards. If you own a home and you've ever put up uh, crown molding, you know it's a pain in the butt. This, not quite as a pain in the butt, but since you're going the opposite way, I already made a wrong cut. As you can see, it kind of cut wrong distance, this, that, and the other. So just go slow and you're the old saying goes, measure three times, cut once. It's kind of funny, now that we're on our last cut, oh, thank God that fit. So this one actually fits, and we're good. So it's in. <clears throat> Excuse me. You like it? Like it. Like it? Okay. So what did we learn about this? One, we can't cut right. We work together as a team better. Two, this is floor tile, guys. This is meant to be laid down not be put up vertical like sticky wallpaper. So with that being said, the adhesive behind this is sticky, but not like super, super sticky. So I would suggest, I would suggest doing some kind of spray adhesive, something not too permanent, but definitely a spray adhesive to help it if you're gonna put it on a vertical surface. Um, it's definitely not been to be on a vertical Plus, there's not a lot of wood too it's sticking to because you know, it's got the mesh oh so yeah that's not, true it's not like it's sticking that whole piece is sticking to wood yeah but it is meant to lay down flat where there's a lot of pressure being put on it with walking or whatever again they're cheaper tiles they're cheaper tiles yeah they're just floor tiles they're just floor sticky tiles let's see hold that uh, uh, floor pops floor <laughs> pop what? i don't know if i'd use it on my floor floor pops peel and stick vinyl Tile. Okay. And it's the Comet. Comet. It's, it's called Comet. So, <laughs> not to be mistaken with Comet, the uh, cleaner. But I was anyway. Thinking the space. Oh, I was thinking that too. But when I say think Comet, I think Grandma cleaning okay. the sink. So, as you can see, it's very thin. I mean, it's it's stiff. It feels like cardboard. It feels like cardboard with some stickiness on the back. But again, not a lot of sticking. That's it. If you want to redo your floor in the RV, maybe put it on the floor. I don't know if I recommend it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, especially if you're moving because these corners are sharp corners. Yeah, like projects like this or crafts or something, but I wouldn't put it on the floor. No, definitely not. So we are going to go get some spray adhesive. Some of the ones on the bottom we're going to remove. Just put some spray adhesive where the big holes are in the center where there's not a lot attaching to the back. So 
<clears throat> my throat's going again. I need this, to go. My trip is getting sick, so I'm trying to keep a little distance. <laughs> Whatever. So I had really bad sick yesterday, so my throat is now killing me. So I guess that's it for this project. Yep. Um, I think we're done. I'm, I'm done for the day. I've, I've went and recocked like all the outside oh, of the RV. That's another we video had for. A week already. So I did some walking around and saw a lot of things that I was like, oh wow, they didn't cock any of that. To me, I guess coming from Grand Design where everything was cocked, I'm like, nope. So I spent about like three or four tubes past two days, been working in the early mornings before it gets super hot. And I think now I've gotten everything, window, sealed light, up. anything um, sealed up. So hopefully we'll have no more leaking. No more leaking. So yeah, we, so small, you know. Small, like small, tiny water, but not. Yeah. But just enough, so Florida, these hardcore afternoon rainstorms have so much water in short amount of time that they can force their way in anywhere. So if you ever noticed on your RV, you have the wall and then like probably like three quarters of the way down, you have that, that black skirting. They never cocked in between that. Well, so water they, is going they, down. They did force river, I mean, how they do it, but they have like... But it almost looks that, like foam. Yeah, they didn't seal with but sealant. It's getting wet, and now the water's going through the foam. So I yeah. went over everything with that. Yeah. What's that black, sticky sealant stuff that they put in between the walls and the windows and everything? And they call that sealing it. From our but, last dealer, they were always like, seal everything, seal everything, seal it. So I'm so like, okay, that's not seal. It's, it's getting the stuff around it. Yeah. So. so Renee was out there while I was sick doing some, caulking some fresh air. and getting some fresh air. And, all right, I got to get out of here. I need a throat lozenge bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And uh, stay tuned to next week because we will have... Oh, and Mike, you're, you're going down. <laughs> we will have uh, steps installation. All right, I got to go. Bye, guys. <laughs>